Hi everyone, welcome back to my Beach Angel Tarot Shot. I am here to do a reading for December and I know I'm ahead of time, but I'm being guided to do it. So this is the December love weather forecast uh, for of course, December 2018. This is early November, so I don't know what, we don't get guided to do them so quickly, So, but I'm following the guidance. So um, I will put a link to this reading below as well as my shop. So just want to kind of, I want to get an opening message. I'm going to use this deck to get an opening message. And then I'm going to be using the Mystic Moon's Oracle. This is her Oracle deck to do the reading. So let's see what comes for everyone. God and the Angels. This is December's Love Weather Forecast. What message wants to come? Opening message for the month of December. Love Weather Forecast. And it says dating queen. And I love it for December. I, I love the little gift coming in here because, you know, for me, December and Christmas and Santa's, they're crazy. So I feel like something's coming. For those that are guided, I feel like more than anything, there's some something being offered, as you can see by the visual here. But I'm going to read from a booklet, dating queen. Okay, I'm supposed to pull another one too, they're saying. So let me just read this one and then I'm going to pull another one. I don't know why, but... It says, living to your full potential inside and out. Lots of dates or social opportunities available. You are seen as a true queen and admired and adored and you are in demand and stepping into your power. Social butterfly, good at mixing with people, great communication skills. You have a shining quality that people admire or you have the potential to shine and that this is this is what the card is sh showing you to do. So you're going to have a lot. Of course, December is, you know, parties. It's the holidays. You're going to be like a social butterfly. There are going to be people inviting you. There's invitations. There could be a gift coming to you. And it's kind of cool because there's a little present and then these colors are like Christmassy. I'm just seeing, you know, I just see Christmas everywhere. I can't help it. People probably think I'm crazy, but um, I don't care. It's just what comes. I can't stop what comes. Um, so focusing on everyone's law of attraction. What wants to come from this? Oh, they're saying you didn't pull the other card. So. <laughs> okay, so I got caught up in the messages there, but I, I'm supposed to pull another one. All right, so I feel like this is it. And this is Ice King. You know, this gives me the energy of like an air sign, like um, King of Swords type of energy. So, oh, okay. We have a Dating Queen and an Ice King. Queen and King. But I'm going to read... Wise man, coolness, detachment, educated man, teacher, professor, authority figure. If you have pulled this card today, it means something is asking you to, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to, okay. It means something is asking you to seek the advice of a mature man or father figure. You may have a crush on an older man. You may have a relationship with an older man who is sharing with you his life experience and wisdom. I, all of a sudden, while I was reading that, was getting, you know, the North Pole, Santa is, of course, like a king. He's a saint, Saint Nicholas. That's a lion, but I, again, I can't help it. Like, when it starts coming in my mind when I'm doing the reading. So, there is definitely masculine and feminine energy for this. But I feel like what I'm getting at with that feeling of um, Santa, certainly you're not going to be dating Santa and his or St. Nicholas, but I feel like generosity. There is a man that may have been in a, a little bit of a detached energy. He may be very analytical. He may have been colder. There may have been issues. Um, he may rule more with his intellect and his emotions, but there is a sense here of generosity. As you can see, this hand coming from here and offering flowers. So there's going to be more engagements of generosity between the two okay that's just the message that I'm getting from the feeling that's coming so that is December what a beautiful way to open the message to open the the reading you're saying right now so the energy around your love life this month and it is awakening and we see the ma a masculine energy here. He is awakening. There is more 
of an awareness to something. Just like I said here, you may be coming out of this colder energy or more detached or, an, you know, not like unemotional completely, but letting us out rational mind rule over the emotions and when someone's doing that they may not they may tend to not be as open they may tend to not be as generous not like somebody has to give you something all the time but what i mean by generous generous with their emotions generous with what how they exchange with you it doesn't have to be gifts it doesn't have to be anything like that it has to do with how they're open how their heart is open to engaging with you with talking to you with their time with their words with you know their love and their emotion that type of thing and so we see there is an awakening around you so it could be coming really from both of you really because that's the energy around your love life there is an awakening to something how your partner is perceiving you in december and in his offer so i feel again a sense of one person offers and one person accepts right um, I feel like there's somebody they see, they're perceiving you as somebody that may be offering them something, emotions, or and or they want to offer you. But I feel like an equal exchange here. So the third one is what you expect from your partner this month. This is your expectation, what you expect to see. And the next one's going to show us what actually comes. But this is like, it's showing us what you're expecting. So you're, we're going to see if you're projecting something good or bad here for December. So your expectation is pride and ego. So you're not projecting something that's too, too great. Okay. Um, you're expecting your partner to come to be in his pride and his ego. Kind of what this can be like, you know, the detachment. So you may be looking at them like they're gonna come at you like they always have, they always do. They're just very rational, very, you know, or to you could seem ir irrational because it's so rational, but you're kind of projecting something that isn't the greatest. Um, but I love it because it is the peacock and the peacock is beautiful. So, you know, you see the beauty within them, but you may just be kind of a little bit leery and thinking, well, you know, things are going to just follow the same pa pattern or path that they have in the past if you've been having problems. But this is your expectation. I like the beauty part of it, but the pride and ego is not the greatest, ex you know, projection. It's, it's showing us what you're projecting. What you will actually receive from your partner this is uh, what they will actually do versus this. And it is divine timing. I'm getting New Year's with this card uh, because of the clock. When I get close to the holidays and I see clocks like that, it gives me the New Year time frame. So there may be something that is kind of, I don't want to say put on hold, but there could be, they are, what they do is, I'm going to pull, actually I'm going to pull, no, no, I'm not going to pull from there. I'm going to pull from here. They may... Divine timing. I'm going to see a little bit more before I say anything else. And we have hidden in plain sight. It's not telling me what I want to see here. Road trip. Movement that's hidden in plain sight. There's some sort of something's moving. There's there's gonna be they're going to take action, but you're not gonna see it for some reason until a certain time. There is timing involved in here. There is movement that that's there, but you can't see it. That's the kind of there was a weird feeling that I was having with this, but they, they, what they're going to do is something that is a bit secretive, okay? I don't, I'm not quite being shown what it is, but their spirit is assuring me there is movement happening. And you're not privy to it. I'm not being shown it either right now in this moment. Um, I want to kind of see what's going to come. Let me, just, let me just go. Because sometimes I'm not supposed to see, but... I'll keep pushing them because I'm a curious little bugger, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> destiny. And, yeah, I saw that one when I cut the deck. 
divine timing, it's, there is a destined outcome here, but you're not being shown it. So they're not showing me what, this is a secret. This is a bit of a secret. So I'm sorry. I can't, I can't tell you because they're not showing me. Um, it's a bit of a secret. And I guess that's kind of funny too, because you know, it's following the same vibe as St. Nicholas again, and there is a little bit of a secret. So something is destined to happen in divine timing. There is movement that is happening, but is hidden in plain sight. Is all I can tell you, okay? It's hidden. It's happening, but it's hidden. Um, but it's a destined thing to happen. It's going to happen. But, you know, it's supposed to be a surprise outcome for you. So if I'm showing it and tell you, you're not going to be surprised, right? So <laughs> there's definitely something coming. Okay, so what? something your partner would like you to do more of... And it is, wow, Twin Flame. So, it is to know, you know, it is to know. And for those that are on the Twin Flame journey, you know what I'm talking about. It is to follow your heart. It is to, to have faith in this energy that, 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 that has been there all along, that, that is part of the journey, that has been moving over time, that, you know, there is progress, but you don't see it. And that is part of the destiny of the journey. And so it's to, this is like a message from, I feel their higher self. And it's just tell you that it is what it is. It's one of those, this is what it is. And to know and to have faith and to be in this energy with all your heart is the message that I'm getting. And that's why I was told, I was told not to pull that for number four when I was trying to figure out what was going on, because it's, it is just, this journey is just what it is. And for you to not lose faith in the journey and in, in, in what you can't see, you know, faith is believing, right? Like St. Nicholas in the unseen, what you cannot see. So to continue, this is what they want you to do more of. Stay on your spiritual path, stay on your spiritual journey, believe in what you know. A special message of awareness from the angels on your union, as if that wasn't enough. And it is unawakened, which is so amazing to me because we've started with awaken, right? The energy around your love life this month in December is awakened. And so the guidance is unawakened. And so they go together. There is a circular energy because one is on the other. The unawakened is at the end of this reading. And the awakened is at the beginning and this is the guidance and this is the energy around so I want to see more I want to just kind of see I feel like they're not they want the the message that your angels want you to know in your union is the unawakened between you and them is going to be fully awakened. And I don't even think that, I mean, you may feel like the person, you as the person watching this may feel that you are the awakened, right? But they're saying that there's levels within you. It's going to be like a plot twist, I feel. I feel like a plot twist coming here where you are actually going to be feeling like you have been the unawakened because this message coming from what your partner would like you to do more of um, has got to do with this message. And I feel like I don't, I don't even, I can't even in the words explain the, the power of a feeling that's coming is that there's going to be some sort of plot twist and it may not come like, I want to, I want to put this out. It may not come right in December. It may come into 2019 and it could even be because we've got a circle of energy here. It could even be, in various levels throughout 2019 where you be, you realize that you are both the awakened and the unawakened, okay? You are both. Even though you watching this may feel like you are the you are the awakened and they aren't there there is another level here where you're going to look back and say, "Wow, I was still a bit unawakened there." You know, I didn't have the and there they may seem like they had they are then more awakened. There is some sort of twist here because you're both one and the same is the message that's coming. I'm being guided to pull one more here and we have cycles. So there's that circular energy and the plot twist feeling there that I was getting. Um, 
the toing and the froing and the roundabout. And I'm gonna pull the undercurrent, and the undercurrent is numbing. And there's that circle, circular energy over this person's head, um, numbing in cycles, degrees of unawakened and awakening energy. There is a, a message here about that for everyone in the month of December, and I'm just gonna let it at that. I think everyone's gonna kind of absorb that in their own in their own way, but that is the message. It's pretty interesting how that came out, and I was guided to do this reading early, so this could be less like a little bit of a spoiler for people what is coming um, energetically, but very, very interesting. And like I said, I don't know that this will so much come right for everyone in December, but I feel in varying degrees over 2019 because of the divine timing coming up. I feel like everybody's gonna because that they're saying that too is a circle. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull it up here. If there is, an, there is, and you can see there are sections here, right, within this clock. So there's going to be, and because this would record this, this represents 2019 to me right now. There's going to be some that it hits right at the end of December, and then it's going to be, you know, like you know, the months of the year around the clock as we move forward in varying degrees in cycles. So I'm gonna let it at that. So hopefully everyone has enjoyed this reading and I wanna send everyone angel blessings and oceans of love and Merry Christmas too, because it's a December reading.